And we are making a start with some big breaking news that's coming in at this point. Farooq Engineers comments that he saw a current Indian selector fetch tea for actor Anushka Sharma at the year's World Cup has been a huge controversy. Now, the former cricketer was slammed by Anushka Sharma for his comments. The former Indian cricketer was also slammed on social media for what he said. My colleague Virain Farao now joins us from the newsroom with an exclusive conversation with the man in the centre of the storm. Well, thanks, Apurva. Now, uh, this is the controversy that's engulfed the world of cricket and at the centre of it uh, is one of India's le cricketing legends, Farooq Engineer, who's made these comments that have led the furor. We've seen uh, both online, on television and everywhere. Uh, there have been some comments and for the first time, to clarify his comments, I've got Farooq Engineer joining us on the phone line, the former India cricketer. Uh, uh, Mr. Engineer, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Uh, your comments suggesting a, for, uh, a current selector, a member of the Indian Selection Committee, uh, was fetching tea. You were seen serving tea to Anushka Sharma, uh, popular actor, the wife of Virat Kohli, has, uh, you know, at the, at the World Cup this year, has led to a lot of controversy. It sparked uh, quite a furor online. I'm sure you know about that. There's been a strong negative reaction uh, to what you said. Can you please explain what you meant? This was taken completely out of context. It was, I have never meant to hurt Anushka's feelings. She's like my you know, daughter. I've got four daughters. I would never, ever hurt a young girl's feelings, knowingly or unknowingly. I mean, and she'd be the last person, as she and Virat were role models in England, and everybody looked up to them, including me. I was very fond of them, and I am very fond of them. She's got the wrong end of the stick, and perhaps somebody has told us something that's not true. But I never, ever meant to hurt her feelings, you know, and uh, I wouldn't dream of doing that. And people that are trying to drag her down, I would be against those people, because why would you try and do that? What has she done wrong? She's not done anything wrong. She's, she's a wonderful actress, beautiful girl, married to a great cricketer, whom we all admire. You know, we admire them both as a couple. So why would anybody, you know, in the right senses, try and demean them? I certainly wouldn't, and I haven't done so. So please let me clarify that at the, you know, at the very instance. So, Mr. Angel, you're saying you didn't try to demean her. Uh... You know, but the, there are people who are going to going to draw that inference from the quotes that you uh, that were uh, made public. Uh, what exactly then did you mean? Because uh, everyone will want to know what you meant. Because if you're saying that uh, the quote that you gave is not what you actually were trying to say, if you look at those comments, you can understand why there has been so much negative reaction to it uh, on social media. And otherwise, uh, can you please clarify? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I was sitting with a group of test cricketers from England, Australia, and even India. And this guy was an Indian blazer. And then they asked me who he was. And I, I honestly didn't know who he was till I found out he was a, he was a selector for India. And that's how the whole thing sort of took off. That, you know, how, how has he become a selector? Does, you know, you know, has he played much cricket? Has he played much test cricket? So, I mean, it just started off from there. But there was nothing derogatory, pers nothing personal about Prasad or any of the selectors. You know, I get along very well with them. You know, I've met them, and Prasad was a very fine wicketkeeper. I have absolutely nothing against him or anyone. I just thought somebody more qualified, someone like, I try to make a point, someone like Dilip Manchaka, for example, you know, who's, who's produced on um, who discovered, like he discovered Tendulkar. You know, like, people like that, I thought, should be in charge. That, that was all I was trying to say. But I did, I did say again about the COA that, um, you know, that was a waste of time, you know, because I, I don't think they did much, you know, much, much good for the two and a half years that were there and, and, and earned a lot of money. And that money, crores, would have been utilized to, to nurse young cricketers. That was, that was my feeling. So that money was, went down the drain. But that was the point I was trying to make. And the whole thing was completely gone out of hand. And poor Anushka, got, you know, got, got the rough end of the stick. I, I don't know why, because I have never meant to hurt her, and uh, I, I would never do so. 
So, Mr. Anjali, when you say something like, uh, I watched a selector fetch Anushka Sharma tea, did you mean that literally? Or did you, or were you trying to make a point about uh, maybe how the selectors perhaps were not, un, were not qualified enough for their jobs? Uh, what is it that you were trying to say because our viewers would want to understand some of the context here behind those comments? This was just, you know, just said in jest. There was no, there was no malaise in my, in, in my comment. You know, there was no, it's not that the selectors, if they a cup of tea for somebody, that doesn't mean, you know, they, they go down in my opinion. Surely, a, a, a lady sitting on her own, and if you're having a cup of tea, I'd be the first one to offer a cup of tea. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It was completely taken out of context, but that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Nothing derogatory meant, and the whole thing is blown out of proportion for no reason at all. You know, people are for, and I'm, I'm reading some of the tweets, and it's amazing that people are getting carried away and, and taking sides. Whereas I'm on the same side as Anushka. She's a lovely girl and there's nothing at all. You know, when I meet her, hopefully I'll meet her someday, I'll be the first person to say, I'm sorry about the, all, all, all this fiasco, but nothing derogatory was ever meant. Now, Mr. Anjali, you say you're sorry for what uh, you said about... Uh about Anushka Sharma, uh, perhaps about that incident with the selector, uh, you've, you, you've then uh, seen the hard-hitting response that Anushka Sharma put out. She responded to you personally uh, about your comments. Uh, she slammed the comments you made. Uh, please respond to that. No, not at all. I mean, she, I, I think she, she joked as well. But it wasn't tea, it was coffee or something like that. You know, where's, where's the sense of humor people got? You know, and I smiled at that. Lovely. You know, that, that was wonderful. There was nothing ever any, any, anything derogatory about her. You know, so that, that, that's amazing that why people have put two and two together and, and tried to sort of dramatize matters. And that's where it's gone by. You know, I'm not after cheap publicity, and nor is she. And, uh, but people get carried away. And, and that's, you know, that's sad that they, they love to make a, a drama out of things, and that's exactly what they've done. Right, Mr. Anjali, you also spoke about uh, the ability of India selectors, because I think that's a, that's a point worth picking up here. Uh, do you think they're not fit enough to do the jobs that they do? They're currently being led by MSK Prasad, uh, and perhaps he will not be the only cricketer in this country, uh, or for that matter, across the globe, who would uh, question their own their, their credentials? Uh, do you think they're not fit enough to the, do the job they're in? India are one of the major cricketing nations of the world. You know, I mean, we have got some very, very experienced cricketers, very experienced campaigners who, you know, who, who can really... Now, the, the selectors that they have picked, I mean, no one, is, no one has really heard of them. And I think a country like India deserves a more sort of qualified pattern. I'm not saying that they weren't great cricketers, so they couldn't be good selectors. That doesn't mean bad. You know, a good, a, a bad cricketer could be a good cricket coach. Or, and a bad football manager could be a great foot, you know, football coach. But it's not like that. But I just thought that India being the, India being India, where we are top of the world, we, I think we could have had some much bigger names who may be better qualified. That's what I, that's the point I was trying to make. Not demean Prasad and Co. Not at all. Because they're fine gentlemen and I have nothing against them. It was a system that I was trying to criticize. Okay, Mr. Angela, thank you for joining us here on the broadcast to try and clarify the comments you made that has sparked this whole controversy and led to the reaction so Anushka Sharma. Well, uh, Apurva, that's the conversation uh, with uh, Farooq Engineer. He is uh, just a few takeaways from that. He's apologizing for what he said. He said uh, that some of these issues have been blown completely out of proportion. Uh, and he's trying uh, to set the record straight here. But our viewers will have to decide whether they can, uh, whether they will take his comments, the latest comments now here on this channel on Face Value. All right, we'll have to leave it there, Virin. Many thanks for joining us and getting us that exclusive conversation there with Farooq Engineer on this.